I'm Mishimoto and welcome back to my channel. Well, what have we got in store for you today? Well, Macarena, she's been saying for months now she wants to get into off-road. So she's gone and done it. Yeah, she has gone and done it. So come and check this out. I want to show you around it, show you the mods we've already done to her. And uh, what we're going to do in the future. KTM 390 Adventure lovely little bike perfect start for an off-roading career got good reviews everything about on these bikes the beauty of it is it's nice and light so what have we done to her well we've gone with the bark busters headlight guard Cheapo folding mirrors moment. I'll put her a little sat nav mount on there. She's had the Motia bash guards, which are pretty solid. Look at them, they're solid. It's a little foot stand KTM. So today. We've got another instalment today, so if you hold fire, we'll show you what we're doing in a minute. One thing we haven't done is a bash plate at the moment, because she's only going to be doing easy trails. So we thought we'll just leave that for now, and then once she gets into it, we can stick something decent on there. There, she's had a radiator guard. So today, we're going to be fitting some foot pegs. As most of you know, with the Adventure 390 especially, the foot pegs lean forward. So that's not brilliant for off-road. So, I've been and bought these CNC, nice CNC foot pegs. As you can see, they're a lot bigger than standard and they're a nice finish with the little grippy bits in there you do get some spares so we'll get them on and then we'll see what Macarena thinks of them later on right, so firstly we've got to get a set of pliers take this split pin out, washer pull the peg and pop the spring out and get her in get the new ones in Split pins are always a pain in the ass when the actual peg itself is turning. Oh. Pull them together. Like so. split pin, washer, a little o-ring, push that out and you have one foot peg and spring. So that is the right side, that's a lot bigger as you can see. With the spring in place there, I'm gonna offer it up. Just got a knot spring into the hole on the chassis. There we are. Push the line it up. Then we've got the trusty screwdriver. I'm gonna just that's it. Knock the pin in. Yeah, and she's in. The o ring back on, washer back on, split pin back in. That's that. And 
voila, done. Think to that then. Just got to do the same on the other side. And that's another little modification done to the mighty 390. Yeah, so she's been promising since she passed the test, she wants to get into off road riding. And she's looked at various bikes, looked and looked. She was going to go for an Aprilia Touareg, and I said it was a bit, a bit too big for your first off-road bike. Then we looked at the, the Honda, the little 300, which cracking little bike, but. For distance work I don't think it would have been as good as this obviously they all have the pros and cons and there is no perfect bike out there is it but I am finding out myself so in the end she had a look at one of these and bought it well, this is she got, got this second hand Got 300 miles on the clock, which sometimes you can think that could be a bit of a worry because you think to yourself, what's wrong with it? But she paid the money and she took a chance. Voila, number two peg in. O ring again. Wash it. Split pin. This afternoon we're taking her out on the trails. There'll be another video there. See how she gets on. Let's do some easy lanes. So again, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say it's come with Aniki Wilds. Motors Rouse, they're the best tyres.